first first of all, congrats to him. Well deserved. Extremely happy for him. This was this is a hell of an accomplishment. The main goal for us was to win a championship. Uh, we didn't care who, who got Finals MVP. Uh, I, I need him through this journey, and, and so to, you know, it was great to see him have that moment and share that moment with him. Uh, I mean, I'm extremely happy for him. Well deserved. Uh, that was, that was big time. For him. Lucas Media. So what you just heard was Jason Tatum talking about Jalen Brown winning the finals MVP over him. Both of those brothers had a great performance. And, you know, it was just only it was only a matter of time, honestly, before they won a the title. They'd have been in so many conference finals and then a couple NBA finals. So it was destined for them to win. But, you know, you hear a lot of times the media, they try to separate them. You know, uh, will Jalen Brown be traded? You know, is it Jason Tatum's team? Is it Jalen Brown's team? Honestly, I don't think either one of them care. They just want to win. It doesn't matter who's the final MVP. And both of them are going to be a champion at the end of the day, which was the ultimate goal. Ever since both those brothers got to the NBA, all they tried to, all they want to do was win a championship. And even when they had Kyrie Irving there, didn't they go to the conference finals a couple of times? And, and like I said, the conference final, the conference final, they went to the, the finals against the Golden State Warriors and a 14 loss. So, you know, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, you could tell that they had this weight lifted off their back because even LeBron did an interview saying that he was ready or waiting on to see when Jason Tatum would get his next or to get his his first ring so at this moment i don't think they care i don't think it ever will matter skip tried to say on undisputed that he felt like jason tatum was starting to cook in the later half of the fourth quarter so he could get the mvp i don't think that's the case honestly i think that they just so ecstatic that they won finally and that they can celebrate and you can't write one without the other you know both of these guys are, are equally talented in my opinion and this isn't like a, a Jordan Scotty Pippen, right? Like the media, they're going to try to pin it and try to end up getting these guys to lose. I mean, to split up. But can you imagine how many championships they may win? There's a good chance that they might come back and run it next year and the year after that. And, you know, Jalen Brown, he just got that mega deal. People hated on him. He wasn't all NBA. I believe he was an all star. But yeah, he didn't make all NBA and there's even people out there that's questioned that make a deal he had, but he didn't prove all the haters wrong. Finals MVP, Jason Tatum has been a conference MVP, Eastern Conference final MVP in 2022. So I mean, they all got awards and trust me, I can see both of them battling out to see who will be, who will win a couple of MVPs of the league and also MVPs of the finals. So they got a long road ahead. They both still young men. They were 26 and 27 years old. So they got a lot of time, a lot of time. They they are they haven't even fully entered their prime yet. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it again. Congratulations to them. Tell me what y'all think.